Hi, I'm Danielle Hartman, and welcome to another episode of Port in PA. It takes a lot of determination to open up and run a brewery. In this episode, we visit Punch Buggy Brewing Company in Philadelphia and hear how they've overcome challenges to become a thriving neighborhood brewery and part of the local community of brewers. Uh, what, what was in here before? Oh. <laughs> they uh, they filmed porn in here before us. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we're told. That's yeah. the urban legend right now. Yeah. Yeah. There was a shower in the back, um, one bathroom, and yeah, it, it was very just questionable. yeah, it was very questionable. Did a lot of power washing before yeah. we opened up. Everything's good. We did. Yeah, everything's on the up and up. That's right. You can cut that whole thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. We found this place, which was right next door to a home brew shop. The guy up the street owns a pizza shop, so we went to him and uh, yeah, like every every week for a month mm -hmm. until he until he gave us the the nod, and then yeah. uh, we started. Yeah, the the pizza shop owner was the is the owner of this building actually, so yeah. that's kind of the tie in is that we had to go to the pizza shop owner and be like, hey, can we buy this place off your lease it or whatever, so that we can start a brewery, which you know, we really like to do in this neighborhood. At the time, the neighborhood wasn't like it was, you know, some kind of dream come true kind of neighborhood. It was still up and coming yeah. and still is, I think, but very convenient location right next to a homebrew supply shop. We were saying we don't even have to, you know, order grain or anything. We just go next door. If we run out of anything, we can go next door. Yeah. If we come up to a question we don't know how to answer, we can go next door, and then... Two weeks before we opened, they ended up uh, shutting down, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, they, they moved locations, they mm -hmm. didn't shut down. Yeah, Philly Homebrew Outlet, they're great. Yep. Uh, so this is Old Kensington. It sits right in between Northern Liberties and Fishtown, and, you know, the city is, is making an effort to, they just put in some bike lanes, they offered some programs for, for new businesses in the area. So you see, you know, some restaurants going up, some cafes. S Cafe just opened up right next door to us. You got the original 13 Cidery right across the street, and then you also have New Liberties right across the street. So it's kind of like a destination spot where you can come, park your car, and walk around all day. Mm. So. From like an outsider perspective. And then also, we have just a lot of people that live in the area that really love this as kind of their neighborhood brewery, too. You know, you just, you see it every day. Everybody comes in and, you know, there's just a, a real happy vibe, a real, you know, community vibe from the area. When we first started and, you know, got moving and opened, we were like, we just got to open. We had the building for like three years before we opened. We knew that things needed to percolate a little bit and, and just get to the point where our beer was spot on. Initially, we had this plan to do a lot of different styles. We did, you know, some stouts right off the bat. We did Saison, we did Blondales, we did IPAs, Sours, obviously. And when we got that whole hit from COVID, we were able to fine tune our brewing because there's, with so many different styles, it's hard to really perfect each different style. And I think that COVID really helped us to do that in a way because we were able to get our legs under us. Yeah, that gave us a lot of time to play around with some stuff. We were only open about six months before it, before it hit. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I don't know if you could get more stuff thrown at you in the first year. We had our street shut down. They were repaved the whole street. We had a uh, building going up next door, a building going up across the street. So it was, you know, everything's been shut down, no parking. But I don't know, somehow people come out for the beer. When we were in the process of opening and, and getting started, we looked to St. Benjamin's and we were saying, well, what are they doing? And we went over there and we would have beers and we would figure out you know, what we're gonna do and what we liked about their setup and everything. And then when they closed, we were kind of sad about it. And then we were really excited to see Human Robot open up. And actually when they opened up, all of a sudden we got, you know, a huge boost in business as well. And I mean, part of that I'm sure has to do with the fact that there's another brewery just, you know, a few blocks away. And you have this kind of like center where there's all these breweries in a, a really close proximity to each other. 
So I think that there's sort of like a more the merrier mentality. There's also a very, you know, just welcoming spirit uh, from a lot of the brewing community. It's, it really is just like a really strong community within the community of Philadelphia. We hope you've enjoyed this episode about Punch Buggy Brewing Company. Until next time. Cheers.